Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Gardner, double board certified plastic surgeon. Ever wonder how the oxygen you breathe gets delivered to your body? Well, in this video, we're gonna try and give you the basics and explain it to you how that works, so stay tuned. The respiratory system regulates oxygen and carbon dioxide levels within the blood. So all cells require oxygen and all cells need to deliver carbon dioxide as waste. Respiration includes ventilation, gas exchange between the air, blood, and tissues within the body, and the use of oxygen for metabolism. So the respiratory system includes the nose, the nasal cavity, the pharynx is the throat, the trachea is the windpipe. Then in the lungs, you have bronchi, which are the main tubes there, going to smaller bronchioles and to alveoli, which are the tiny airway sacs. It's sometimes separated into the upper and lower system, where the upper system is mostly the nose, sinuses, pharynx, and larynx. And the lower system is the trachea, bronchi, uh, bronchioles, and the lungs. Inhalation allows oxygen to enter the body, pulling air into the nose and mouth lungs and into the air sacs called alveoli. Now these alve alveoli are extremely efficient. Each tiny alveoli is, has about 100,000 square meters to it in a tiny thing, giving it a tremendous surface area so uh, to handle these tasks. Where gas exchange takes place. Interesting tidbit of information. We breathe about 17,000 times per day on average. That's without running or exercise, 17,000 times a day. Alveoli move freely when air is inhaled and exhaled. Capillaries are small blood vessels that line the walls of the alveoli. During gas exchange, oxygen enters and carbon dioxide exits the bloodstream via the alveolocapillary membrane. Once oxygen molecules move from the alveoli into the capillaries, they dissolve into the plasma and enter the red blood cell or erythrocyte. Erythrocytes contain millions of soluble proteins called hemoglobin. So interesting little fact, we basically have about 20 trillion red cells in our body, 20 trillion average person. And you have about 270 million molecules of hemoglobin in each cell. So it's a highly efficient system. Hemoglobin contains four subunits, each capable of binding one molecule of oxygen. Once one molecule of oxygen binds to one of the subunits, the other sites bind oxygen more readily. Dissolved and bound oxygen flows through the arterial bloodstream to capillaries within tissues. Upon arrival, carbon dioxide loading of the erythrocyte promotes oxygen unloading. So oxygen then goes into the tissues and each cell, which is called cellular respiration. And oxygen goes through a system called the Krebs cycle, which then makes ATP. ATP is the energy of a cell, which is vital to a cell's life. And then it gives off the waste, which goes out of the body as CO2 or carbon dioxide. Oxygen metabolism within cells produces carbon dioxide gas as a metabolic waste. Carbon dioxide exits the cells and tissues and is converted into bicarbonate within the erythrocytes. This happens with an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase. Converting carbon dioxide to bicarbonate releases hydrogen ions that decrease oxygen affinity for hemoglobin, freeing the oxygen to be delivered to tissue cells. After delivering oxygen to the tissues, the carbon dioxide rich blood returns to the lungs through the venous circulation and then to the pulmonary artery. Inside each erythrocyte, the bicarbonate conversion is reversed. And this happens with that enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Recreating carbon dioxide, which diffuses across the erythrocyte, into the alveoli and lungs, and is excreted out of the body. 
Another interesting fact, we basically, an average person inhales 100 gallons of oxygen. 100 gallons, isn't that crazy? And uh, exhales about 2.3 pounds of carbon dioxide or one kilogram. That's per day. So that's basically how oxygen travels through your body and goes to the cells. Uh, I hope you learned something here. If you found this informational, hit subscribe and there'll be more on the way and a like. And uh, I appreciate that. There'll be more videos on the way. Take care.